Hey everyone, <laughs> Joe Isaiah is here from the Automator. And the other day, Ryan Wells sent me this uh, AI tool. So I'm going to pull it up here. And it was pretty interesting. I didn't show his ASIS yet. I was like, I just tried it. I'm like, wow. Okay. So I said, let me upload a photo. Okay. Um, and and I just, I said, well, okay, here's my face. You know, it's in this, whatever. I'm just going to try it. So I hit open and it takes a couple seconds. It's pretty fast, honestly. Okay. We hit start search. So this is two of my three free ones. So that to me was pretty oh, damn impressive wow. that like, look at, yeah. look at even in video. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, w which is interesting because for example, I have known for a long time, like Google allows you to, when you have your photos in Google, you can search people by face, but I've never thought that you would do that on the internet. That's yeah. so, so this is searching on the internet, I would assume, right? Well, it, I mean, that's all, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, so these are results on the internet with yeah. your face. So, wow, that's amazing. So now you can search for people just by <laughs> uploading a picture of them. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Pretty interesting, I think. Uh, it's, yes. you know, who, se oh, seven results, two results. That's interesting. I didn't notice. Uh -huh. Oh, so look at that. And it gives you which pages they're on in videos. Eclipse can canal 13. Oh, that's weird. Wow. Do you remember adding those to those sites? I don't no, think so, right? No, so they, they're they're scraping it somehow. Right. Well, they, they might have links to the videos or something, right? Uh -huh. Like 11, because this is my most popular video, uh, I believe. Yeah, so oh, really interesting. interesting. Yeah. AI. Yeah, thank you, Ryan, for sharing that. Um, I'm going to yeah. play with it a little more, but... The other one was I thought it said let me let me see if search face search engine reverse. I thought it also said upload photos and find out where images are, are published. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Right. So, so it's just basically pub, public images yeah. of yourself on the internet. And now I'm curious. Well, not just yourself. Right. Show up. right. Yeah, yeah. Of course. You, you just the face right. that you're looking for. That's amazing. Yeah. Let me see if I have any other ones handy here. Like we'll do this one. No, um, <laughs> the bears. Yeah, yeah, let's see what that might be. But that's amazing because, well, that would be complicated, especially for women. Because, for example, what if they're using their face in places that they don't want exactly. to be used, no, right? Yeah, yeah that, that's right. A, a, a... It's weird because oh, when yeah. I met Kim and I took this picture, I didn't think that she was going to use it. But, you know, apparently okay. she's used it elsewhere. Uh huh. Or as we were just discussing, maybe it's being scraped and put on other pages, maybe without even her consent, which might be uh, maybe. Because I didn't do that, of course. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I mean, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so wow. Pretty interesting. An amazing tool. Um, it might be really useful to find out about where your images have been. And, and, and I think people who are, for example, models or stuff like that, that um, get their money off of their pictures might find this tool really useful because they might want to know where their pictures are used without permission, for example. Yeah, absolutely. That might be interesting. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, AI is pretty amazing. We've covered a lot of stuff in it. This is another very interesting tool. So all right, cheers. Bye.